shut that off for a minute. Talk about what I'm doing. So, a little compactor practice for these guys. It's noisy, it's bumpy, it's weird. Paddock, building, and training all at once. Everybody doesn't care. Uh, no caresies. So, uh, compacting this crusher dust or rock dust um, is important. Usually I don't have one of these to do it, but once in a while I do, I usually use just a roller. But it's really important, even when it's dry. I'm gonna wet it down a little, but even when it's dry, you can see the, uh, the difference in height. And it, it won't stay compact because it's dry, I'll wet it, but it's really important to compact this stuff down so that it turns into you know, something harder that can, that can handle all the hoof traffic and, uh, and not get dug up and all kinds of stuff, make it dry. So we're looking for dry paddocks. And uh, compacting it is an incredibly important uh, step. Otherwise, it would just sit loose and be gravel. So I'll do a second part to this in a second. But this is kind of what it's, you know, it's, it's noisy and it works really well. Uh, just a little one like this is fine for this kind of work. So, okay, that's it for this part. Let's do the next part shortly. Okay, this is <laughs> part two. I don't know. Put the sprinkler on. Got to get this place a little bit wetter. I can't recommend enough. Make sure that you've got some moisture in this stuff. Otherwise, it won't compact down that well. Okay, that's just the short, short little sprinkler bit. And that's all done. So you see, <laughs> I never got any water right where the compactor was sitting, but the rest of it is. It's soft. So that's what it looks like down low, kind of thing. It's, uh, yeah, there's no give to it anymore. Nothing at all. You can walk it. I recommend doing two or three passes for sure. Um, and the other thing to think about is that you'll start to get, uh, like you'll find low spots, like just somewhere where it was a little softer. I don't know if you've got to tell. See, it's a going to be a hole so this will gather water and stuff so this will require a, about a wheelbarrow worth you just come in fill it in and uh, call it a day high traffic area I did four or five times just really compact down and then we just wait for mother nature to do her thing and let it sort of sit and settle it'll rain in a I don't know I think it's supposed to get a little rainy in a few days but the girls were good. They didn't do anything. Right, Peggy? You guys didn't care at all. It's fantastic. So, on with everything else. But this, this is a finished paddock. Yeah. Okay, so there's, uh, there's a few tips, tricks for paddock building for horses. Hopefully that helps somebody. <laughs>